Yeah. Yeah. What a violent clap. Was that violent? I thought it was quite violent. I. Mm. How do you like the clap? Uh, like... Do you do you like the both hands parallel clap, or are you a sideways cup a little bit? I'm a sideways cup a little bit, and I don't clap with my palms. I clap with my fingers. Over oh. My Get a nice resounding. Ooh. I like the echo. I like yeah. the echo clap. So for the palm clap? Yeah. It doesn't really carry, though. It kind of like... No. It's not like a... Yeah, it doesn't slap. It but does, I, yeah. I, I I like the muffled sound of it. Also, guys, it, we are just clapping, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> we are just clapping our hands. Let me clarify. <laughs> just clapping our hands together, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> so, Josh, I want to regale you with some with some events that have happened. I as of late. love to be regaled. Mm -hmm. I will regale you. So, I recently went to a music festival, mm -hmm. and the beginning of my story of said music festival mm -hmm. is going to take place a little bit before I left. The day before Ooh, a prequel. The day I was supposed to a leave prologue. in the morning. So, Ash, right? Yeah, the cat. He, yes, my cat, Ash. You mm -hmm. all know and love him. He had not been shitting for a few days. Oh. He had been mad constipated, mm -hmm. right? So, because every, every time he would try to do the shit, he would like struggle. So I had to take him to the vet that morning. I took him to the vet that morning, the day I was supposed to leave for this festival. Mm -hmm. And it turns out, we had some x rays done. Homie's got a lot of poopy dried up inside of him. Had a lot of poopy in him. Mm -hmm. Like an idiot. Yeah. So I was supposed to leave. I had like about a three and a half hour drive. I was supposed to leave around like three, maybe even four or five, just, you know, to get down there and check into the hotel. Didn't leave here till about eight. So I got down there around 1130 mm -hmm. to check into the hotel. Kind of sucked. Um, so, and also with all the stuff, he also had a UTI, Ash. He also had a UTI like an idiot. So he had to get antibiotics. Yeah. Fucking that visit cost me like $1,500. It was so expensive because <laughs> he's a stupid idiot who can't push his poopy out. <laughs> um, you didn't want to just give the cat a fiber gummy? I tried to give him some stuff. Or, that wait, wait, him. get some, get some fruit. I tried. I tried a bunch of a stuff. Grap. I tried so much. Grapes aren't. You can't feed grapes to cats. Because I know you can't feed them to dogs, so I'm assuming you can't feed them to cats either. Mm. Grapes are bad for them. Anyway, mm. um, so. That was fun. He's an idiot who doesn't know how to poop. Yeah. Um, so you taught him. I did. No, I didn't. He's a cat. <laughs> how on earth? I don't poop in a box and shovel it. So how on earth would I have showed him? <laughs> well, you have to train the cat. I mean, I like put him near the box. I, I set him in the box when I think he needs to go and he just ends up going. So anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, so as far as the escapades of the, con of the of the music festival. Yeah. It was pretty cool, actually. Except for the fact that two days of it got canceled, of the four days. Well, technically two and a half days. Mm -hmm. So I got there the first day. First day we went with all my friends and we yeah, went to yeah. the show. Got about halfway through the day, got fucking poured on by rain. Hail, Ooh, winds. Let's go. They shut down. and It's an outdoor festival? Yeah, it's an outdoor festival. Mm. So they shut it down because for the bands that were about to go on, which were like Coheed and Cambria and Evanescence were going to go on that night. Sure. Um, you're not going to know that. You're I, not going to know any yeah. of these. Mm -hmm. But for you, audience, this is who was about to go on and had thousands of dollars of their equipment ruined because the wind was just oh. harshly sweeping onto the stages. It was awful and horrendous. So, And then, since they were evacuating everybody after about an hour of everyone kind of sheltering, I waited in line soaking wet to get on the bus to get back to our car, which was five miles away. For four hours. I waited yeah. in that line for four fucking hours to go home. Mm -hmm. So that sucked. Yep. Uh, the next day I actually went off without a hitch, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect day. Saw mm -hmm. some great bands like Sleep Token and Knocked Loose and um, Motionless and White. Mm -hmm. All kind of, you know, pretty heavy music. It's fine. It's fun. I really like it. Um, so great day. Awesome day. Um, mm -hmm. Saw Polyphia, which is fucking amazing. Anyway, next day, wake up. It's storming outside our hotel, right? Lit. It's storming, so they're like, "We're gonna not shuttle people to the uh, to the venue. to the fairgrounds, so to the venue." So, 
hold off and we'll give, make an announcement later. Makes an announcement later. Okay, guys, we're shutting down for the day. Um, we're supposed to have this weather again tomorrow, so we'll let you know about tomorrow. Later on that day, shuts down the festival for the next day, which mm -hmm. was the final day. Yeah. And, like, of the days that were shut down. Did they refund people? I think they're currently working on it, but uh, I haven't seen any money from it yet. Damn. Um, so that sucks. And I missed out on, like... Someone I wanted, I wanted to see. Baby Metal was going to be there, which was really cool. Um, there was a bunch of people that day that I wanted to, those two days that I really wanted to see. Bad Omens. Yeah. Um, who else? Other people. Anyway, not important. Cat just. Yeah, she's tearing up that uh, that tower. Mm -hmm. So that was a fun uh, escapade. I got yeah, the yeah. show. So we came. So I came back Sunday, uh, Saturday night because yeah. I said fuck it. Because I wasn't going to sit there for two days at the hotel. Luckily, the hotel seems to have refunded a little bit of my money since I didn't stay there two extra mm, days. Okay. So, but, man, let me tell you, that was an eventful, eventful week and <laughs> of sorts that I didn't even get to fully enjoy. So Was it fun? It, I, when it was good, it was great. <laughs> I still had fun because it was fun to just chill out with the friends I went with. Yeah, yeah. I still had a good time then, but just fucking... Dealing with the rain, I missed so many bands I wanted to see. Really was this with uh, was this with uh, Papa Ryan? No, he okay. he was gonna go, but then like pulled out at, like a week or so before. This man, this was the event you were like hounding him over the phone over, like yes. to say whether or not you're gonna go or not, and he's yeah. like, "I got it, it's yeah. fine." Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Right. So, um, no, I went with um, and Johnny was there. I didn't stay mm -hmm. with him, and our other friend buddy Jason and their wives and uh the, I, I stayed with some other friends that we both know mm -hmm. um it was really cool it was fun i had a really great time i just wish i saw more bands <laughs> it made me maybe miss going realize how much i miss going to shows i love going to concerts mm -hmm. that's I'm, reasonable I'm, I'm into that mm -hmm. it makes me want to play them again too fuck anyway <laughs> so that's been so that was a fun little event yeah, yeah. so you know i missed recording for Half a half a festival. Ah, it's whatever. So it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was fun. I didn't get COVID this time, so that's awesome. Cause I got it last time. <laughs> Why are you weak people getting COVID? <laughs> I was you sitting there and like, people. yeah, I, I was always, I was just cartwheeling around different towns when COVID hit. Never got sick. Yeah, you're like, I'm too strong. Yeah too powerful i cannot be stopped that's true it's kind of a problem isn't it it's a problem for the rest of us i'll say it kind of is you're like <laughs> i can't be put down i can't be put down and there's nothing you fucks can do about it <laughs> eat shit because <laughs> everyone always told me josh if you keep going out and doing stuff you'll catch covid and i'm just you're like bitch where <laughs> and i'm like illness what illness Illness. I don't even know her. <laughs> oh my god. You're right. I'm ill. Oh, I'm so sick. Dude, I'm sick. <laughs> Does a flip with a skateboard. <laughs> oh, you would be a menace if you could skateboard. Oh, there's a lot of things. Look, if I was more physically abled, I would be more of a I menace mean, to society. You could. Yeah, but I have to handicap myself. <laughs> You're like, I can't just be good at everything. I can't imagine if I could backflip. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> That'd be so cool. You could probably learn to do a side flip really easy. Could learn how to cartwheel. Cartwheel's like not even hard though. I'm not gonna put in the work. <laughs> <laughs> what work? You literally just like arms hold, out. You have to hold yourself up for the for like, like a, a second. That's a second I don't have to pull oh myself my god. up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> cartwheeling is so easy. You do a cartwheel then. I would, but I'm very large and there's not enough space in here to do a cartwheel. <laughs> okay, but wouldn't it be funny if you tried? No, because I would hit something. It would hurt or I'd break something. Mm. I don't want to do that. Okay. Okay. Just audience, just imagine me cartwheeling. There you go. Just it was it. amazing. Thank you. Thank oh. you. Fabulous. I will be here all week. <laughs> Please, if you want to see more cartwheels, subscribe, like, 
let us know. Do you want to see more cartwheels? Let us yeah, know down below. In the comments, everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the dead body on this bed? Yeah, she's sleeping with her dead grandma. Yeah. That's real unfortunate. That must smell awful. Yeah, he says it does. There's mold all over the place. Yeah, that. Mm, yeah. No. Not about it. Absolutely not, not. about it. Yeah, this bed is unsanitary. Unsanitary? She can't sleep here. Living room is. Living room it is, then. I remove each and every one of the dolls from the couch and place them on only on the only surface left, which is the table. Cool, everyone's here. Everyone's here. Yeah. Sam and Todd bring in, bring her in, and she's holding a pink stained sheet wrapped up in a swaddle. Swaddle. A swaddle. The babies are swaddled. Yeah, that's a Pokemon. A swaddle. Uh, right? Is it a su? Is it is it just swaddle or is it su waddle? I don't I know. I feel like it's the little the little bug. Yeah, I feel like it's spelt differently than that. Probably. I think it's yeah, it's Sewaddle. Sewaddle. So okay, so there's okay. an E in between the S yeah, and W. Yeah, Sewaddle. Yeah, you're pretty cute, any. I kind of like that one. Yeah, I could fuck with that. Yeah, That's a good one. you got a little coat. <laughs> you got a little, yeah, a little got coat. a little jacket, a little a little collar. Pop his collar. He think he tough. Right. He said, "I'm so strong." Pop my collar. Because <laughs> then it turns into fucking. Whatever the, the mantis thing. Swadloon. Yeah. I kind of wish the uh, the third form had, like, a greaser look. Yeah. So it was more like a popped collar yeah. thing with like, the... Like, this, this doesn't feel co... It doesn't feel quite cohesive no, with the second one. No, no. I don't hate it, it, though. Yeah. Here, here. I direct them to the couch. A Marcy is still dripping from the legs. Bedroom? No, Marcy. It's not clean. She holds up the sheet. I want to uh, put her with the others. Others? With the others? <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, God. I don't like this. Todd's out. Todd's like, he said, I gotta go. I'm out of here. He backflips out the window. I gotta go, sir. I can't do this. Uh, Todd takes it for uh, from her and disappears into the bedroom. This is most certainly not busting. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, thank you. Always such a good boy. Uh, Sam leans in, whispering in my ear. The after the afterbirth wasn't whole when it came out. I feel the uh, fuck roll out of me like it's a, a gas, like it's a gas. Marcy, who's your doctor? Medicine. I've had my fill of medicine. We already know everything, so there's no need to hide anything from us anymore. You're very sick, and you need help. Todd comes out of the room looking a little queasy. A little queasy. Uh, I put her on the bed. Marcy whispers again. Okay, that's enough. Let's talk in the kitchen. They both follow me. <laughs> that was a good transition, huh? Okay. okay, this is really bad. Just having access to some ice would be enough to reduce her swelling. But I know she has an ice box. You do? She used it to make tarts. That kind with frozen fruits. Think real hard, Todd. Where did she used to go before she'd make those desserts? Well, here in the kitchen. But it was always Mr. Green who'd get the fruit. I jump in the air and listen. These boards sound hollow to y'all. They do. Help me move the table. All three of us give it a good shove, letting the dolls fall off as we move them. There's a rug beneath the floor that matches the color of the wood pretty well. I bend down and give it a tug. Well, I'll be. To think this was here the whole time. I think we might have found where they keep the ice. Is it locked? Not securely. I point at the hinges. Doesn't look like the kind of lock disengaged... Lock designed to keep anybody out. More like 
the kind of lock that keeps you out long enough to get caught trying to break in. I I shake the lock and chains to show off how noisy the setup is. Todd flinches. I grab the hammer I saw under one of the counters earlier and hold it against the hinge. I think I have more than enough excuses to do this by now. The top of the planks crunch as the hinges come off. Uh, well, wait. What if we don't find an icebox down there? Then I'll make some repairs and issue my apology. I position the hammer again, putting my body weight down on it until I hear the crunch. And the trap door, made of planks, uh, flip out easily from the top, rattling. I guess Mr. Green thought he was slick. It worked on me. Yeah, that's not that surprising. No. Mostly because you don't tend to expect something as eccentric as a, this from a banker. We climb down an iron set of stairs that wobble as we move beneath it. It's a... <laughs> dank. <laughs> it's dank down here, bro. <laughs> Dude, I'm sick. <laughs> like Zoinks <laughs> Like Zoinks William It's the heat down here <laughs> Shaggy would never say dang No he wouldn't No no mm -mm. Scooby would Yeah. That's really? a dank dog right there yeah, It is He's Shaggy He's right down here <laughs> We gotta get on the Scooby cast eventually. We really do. Gotta get on that train. We wanna start that after Strange Magic. After mm, we finish Strange Magic, we can start. Maybe, pick, maybe. pick what Scooby you wanna watch next time, and we'll watch it. Ooh. Do we wanna start with movies or the show? What are you feeling? Can just watch random episodes. Just like pick, yeah, pick ones we like. Ooh. We don't gotta watch all of like where. I mean, I wouldn't mind watching all of Where Are You. It's not that long. Yeah. But like, I don't wanna watch all of what's new Scooby Doo. <laughs> Sounds a little Pe bit long. Period. Bit I long. don't wanna watch all. Yeah. Of that. It's unfortunate. It's yeah. unfortunate. Have you ever sat down and watched all of Mystery Inc? Um, I haven't finished all of season two. No. Damn. Yeah. Might have to do that eventually. Yeah. It's so good. It, I like. I mean, I, so I've good. seen parts, especially because you showed me a lot of the parts. I love at the seeing end. the lesbian get gunned down. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> I realize how awful of a sentence like, that sounds. But like, but bro. they did that with their whole chest on the show. <laughs> you, you just you see the gang walking across the bridge, and you hear. You just, you just hear the gunshots, and you're just, just her like, being filled with lead, dude. And I'm just like. I love this villain. Oh. I love this villain so much. Incredible. <laughs> An actual murder death in fucking Scooby Doo. Yeah, we what else there. is new? We got there. <laughs> it's well, because by then there were there were other other ones by then, right? Oh yeah. We we've had like dangerous things in the franchise. Yeah, before. this is true. This is true. It's dank and dirty down here. There's plenty of cobwebs, and I'm sure I saw a few things crawling around the floor out of the corner of my eye. I don't like what we might find down here. Do I don't enjoy this. Ah! Oh. Crib! Safe? Icebox? Mm, for, mm, yeah, safe. It looks like a safe. Safe? Safe, safe. Possibly. Okay. I see a dangling light bulb and pull the string. Now, there's not much down here but a tall black chest and a wooden crib painted white. Oh. Well, what's something like that doing down here? I slide my fingers along, expecting to find grime and dust from behind in storage. It's clean. There's a doll here, too. This looks expensive. Notebook. <laughs> Notebook. <laughs> no. No. Okay. okay. Notebook. Doll. Hmm. Oh yeah, this this music is perfect. It's so good. This tone. Absolutely perfect oh, for it. Damn. He dabbing. You guys missed it. <laughs> a doll in the basement. Ellipses. Very squall Leon Hart. Dot, dot, dot. Is it Leon Hart or Leo Hart? I think it's Leon Hart. Or is it Lion Hart? I think it's Leon Hart. Okay. Which is why he's called Leon in Leon. Kingdom Hearts. That's so dumb. That makes it so confusing. I think you overdid it, Squall. That's Leon. <sighs> They had to really make that distinction. I know. Mm. What's in the ice box, Todd? What's in the box? 
Uh, well, uh... Ice. What kind of ice? And? Huckleberries. I follow him to it. And he opens it. The ice box is separated into different sorts of shelves. Hey, William? Yes, Todd? That really doesn't look big enough to store a body. I can't disagree with him either. Uh, there's far less down here than I would have expected. If Huxley had planned for this this space, it looks like he uh, never got down to them. Is this another dead end? I sure hope not. The two of them stare at me as if they're as if they're waiting for what to do next. And their close proximity in such a cramped space makes something new dawn on me. Now don't take this personal. But did y'all roll around in the hay together or something? You both smell really strong right now. They both look away. We're both really stressed, Will. I think we should talk about the doll. Todd is unusually silent. Y yeah, and the crib. Okay, fine. <laughs> Notebook? Notebook. Slick, fellas. That's okay. really okay, good. Okay, this toddy over here. That's a cute this little toddy. guy. <laughs> I do like him. Okay. That's a good one. Okay. It's very good. I'll pick this up later at a better time. So, the crib and this doll. Wait a minute. That card. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Man, that's also from just, like, a bygone yeah. era. We don't get videos like that anymore. No, not really. <sighs> Todd, are you sure you never saw Marcy go down to the cellar? How much is that collection? The Buckshot collection? Yeah. Um, I imagine it goes on sale a bunch, but I don't think it's a mm -hmm. lot. You thinking about it? No. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> it's fine. Cross my heart. Huxley doesn't mark me as a fellow who'd play with dolls. Hell no, he wouldn't. So why is this down here? Why don't we go find out? We climb up the stairs and head back to Marcy's kitchen. What's the average uh, price of it? 20 bucks. 20 dollars! That's not worth it. Oh my god, it's three games. I'd only play one of them. True. And it's the bad one. Two's fun. Two was the first one I played, though. I didn't play the first game until after I played two. I don't, I don't know. I've um, I've, I've only ever played Infinite. Yeah. I thought you played the, some of the first one. Well, I mean, like, I never finished it. Ah. It's more like, ah, I played the first hour of it. Yeah. You got the idea. Yeah. You got the gist of it. And, like, I hear that that one's the best one. People like it. I mean, I think it's enjoyable, Um, but there's definitely some aspects of two i like more as far as i hear that like the gameplay in two is better but the yes. rest of the game they fall short they fix a lot of the gameplay issues in of one in two mm. like so like in one you can have your gun out but then you'll have to switch over to having a plasmid out mm. in two you can actually have both out at the same time. you have both your hands available and ready yeah. at all times S such as you know is um is a. Uh, Infinado. Yeah. Infinado. Infinado. You can charge Bindle up. Little Shack Infinity over there. You can charge up your hold spell while still shooting your rifle. You mean while hook shotting people. <laughs> uh, smack, smack. <laughs> <laughs> so, for all of you out there who don't know, Josh plays Bioshock Infinite exclusively with Charge and Undertow. <laughs> <laughs> exclusively. Hey. Sometimes I put in some possession and return to sender okay wait was it return to sender the one where you can catch the bullets yeah yeah that's return to sender. okay it's though as soon as i get charged it's over yeah it's over <laughs> i get charged Which, and i'm like i am teleporting it out you get it so late in the game it's a little sad it's like in the third act isn't it's it it's after the ghost yeah 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 they're in fink town yeah where well it's when you're coming back i think yeah it's it's toward yeah. the end of it it sucks. Man, that game feels so long. It's so short and so long at the I'll, same time. It really is. It, it can... I think something that makes it feel so long is the compulsion to, like, open every single container. 
for money or food. But I love going to every trash can and going like, oh, boy, oh boy an a, apple. A banana. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea. Of just. <laughs> of Booker DeWitt. <laughs> Booker just shoving everything <laughs> in his fucking mouth. I'm just walking around just pushing the grab button. Yeah. Because the idea that Booker's walking around and just grabbing things. And I mean, it's, it's the same <laughs> it's thing. Just... It's the same thing in Bioshock 1 and 2 where you're playing as Jack in the first game. Oh, a trash can in this underwater city. Oh, banana. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> chips. Um, half eaten chips. Even better. It's just so ridiculous. Dumb. It's so oh, dumb. Oh, my God. It's a so smile. I also love Elizabeth throwing junk at you at lightning speed. I love. I love. I do. I love Elizabeth. Oh, my God. You're so pathetic. I know. She's great. I love her so much. Songbird is right there. He's cool. Man, we got robbed of a really cool boss fight because the I don't think that's true. Well, I feel like it could have been cool. <laughs> it's it's the it's the idea, right? Like, but with how that game is presented, I'm like, no boss fight would ever be good in that system. Yeah, well, because so instead of the songbird boss fight, we got the fucking defend the generator on the ship sequence yeah, with yeah. songbird. Well, there's like one actual boss fight, right? And it's with the ghost. Yeah, and that go that's just a bullet sponge. Yeah. Yeah, there is no... Because what else do you do in a system like that? Yeah. There's no, like, more interactable things. There's no, no. reaction commands or anything. So I'm going to be doing is shooting a hitbox anyway. Yeah. I think that's my issue with boss fights in, like, a first-person shooter, is it always just ends up being that. Yeah. Uh, not, well. There's not typically, like, you know, you're not getting Metal Gear Solid. Jesus. <laughs> that's just going to fall off of that. Really doing it. <laughs> Say, Sam. Dora knows doctors, right? I actually just read that as Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam. Dora the Explorer, right? Lo siento. <laughs> Donde esta? Uh, people who are close enough, yeah. Would she help in this case? No. I suspect she would. She'd respond better to you than she would to me. Right. I could go get help. I think it would be a good idea to go fetch her. Be careful about who else you bring. If a licensed doctor saw any of this, it wouldn't be good for her. Yeah, okay. As Sam pokes around the hall of the kitchen, around the hall of the kitchen, uh, with his head, giving Marcy another cautious look before disappearing out the front door. Amia and Todd head back to the living room. She's staring up at the ceiling, holding her paws up, feeling one of the yarn streamers uh, tacked, tacked to the wall, uh, letting it slip through her digits, uh, coiling them up. Marcy. She doesn't respond to my voice. Mrs. Green? Is it okay if we give you this? Her eyes widen. I almost, I don't know why. I almost said twitch. I don't know. Eh. She do be smiling, though. She do. Oh, just a smile. Uh, her eyes widen as her mouth broke into a smile. Penelope. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. I bet you thought I had forgotten all about you. Is Penelope the doll's name? No. That was my sister. The doll is hers. Did she give it to you for safekeeping? It doesn't look cheap. Because it wasn't. I stole it because I was jealous. But I was going to give it back. Notebook. <gasps> okay. A doll in the basement. It used to belong to Marcy's sister. Nice. I just never got a chance to. None of us uh, dare ask why. Why do you think Mr. Green had this locked in the cellar? Because he knew I wanted it. He'd known if I'd try to mess with the chains. But why would he put it down there? Same reason he always did. He knew little girls liked dollies. Then she takes a look at the porcelain and gives it a kiss on the cheek. In the dark and the quiet, it's safe and warm. Sometimes you have to lose yourself in the coziness. 
and the idea of not moving anymore. It's so bad. Because you're uh, pretty as... You're pretty? Pretty as a picture, and not quite so cheap. Mrs. Green, what does this have to do with anything? I'm just repeating what he said before. He took me away from everybody I know. I think I understood now, understand now that he just liked to hurt me. Not because I think it made him happy, but because it made him feel more alive. Made him feel more alive than me as he took more, for, more from me, all the while saying he was doing me the greatest favor. Well, I just want you all to know that he wasn't doing that. I just think... I just think... We flinch that she goes cross-eyed and retches loudly. Oof. Red vomit shoots into the dark water with clear... What we cleaned her with. I don't know if she's going to be okay or if she's got much left. Mrs. Green, don't push yourself. But I want to won't let him hurt people no more. Not even dead. Mrs. Green! He had the gun. Went to the carriage. Red Fox. Red Fox? That's what I needed. She vomits again, a bright red this time, and her breathing, her breath quickens. Quickens. Todd, I want you to stay here while s stay with her while Sam brings help. E yes, sir. Once I leave the a coiled smell of that house behind, the tension in my shoulder loosens up. Go okay, we're going places. That was the transition noise. <laughs> no, I want the transition noise to be that like that tube that you turn. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Those? Yeah. I don't know what they're called. How are those are those easy to get nowadays? You could probably just order one. Yeah, but I mean like if I go to like a Wally World, right? I don't know if you go to Walmart. Maybe if you go to like a Dollar Tree or Dollar General mm. perhaps. It might be there. Mm. I don't know if they're as easily accessible. Maybe they'll be in maybe if you went to Walmart, they'd be Well that's what I said. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to think because I don't remember ever. I don't remember seeing them at Walmart for a long time, but I don't mm. actively look for them. Yeah, like we don't go to the the children's toy section. Yeah, but you know that sounds like something that like would be there. Yeah, but I don't know if that's a toy that's like popular with kids anymore. I don't know what's popular with kids anymore. I really don't know either. I'm not. I am out of touch and out of time. Like, I constantly question whether or not kids actually watch children's television anymore. Right. Or if, or if it's, it's just, just adults. For adults. Yeah. And I'm like, adults, stop watching. This is for kids. Who <laughs> looks in the mirror? Stop watching kids' shows. No, I can keep watching it. <laughs> you are the exception to the rule. Yeah, at least treat them what they are. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to act like, oh, wow, this children's production isn't just like my high fx drama no i'm watching you know? this because it's a kid's show because yeah. i want a kid's show it's not written as good as man in the high tower how trash how garbage i mean if they want to talk like that they can I'm... <laughs> they sound stupid though look i've never watched man in the high tower Neither maybe it's I. incredible i have no idea i don't know i was just it was just the first thing that popped in <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure it's not as is it not as good as the cinematic uh tower prep oh boy I don't know if anything is as good as Tower Prep. I want to believe that. <laughs> yeah. uh, I need to track. Oh my god, I need. I should have picked this up. So I went to a Dollar General when yeah. I was at that music festival. Yeah. And in a bin of DVDs, I saw for four dollars, and I should have picked it up. A DVD for Shuriken School. What? It's the first time on DVD oh for Shuriken God. School. No. Do you re how, how much do you remember Shuriken School? Like barely anything. I remember the art direction and how I kind of remember the opening. I feel like it was just a season. Like oh genuinely. My God. Which what channel did that air? That was the Nickelodeon. 
I believe. I believe it was Nickelodeon. Whatever. It's fine. We don't need it. It's, it's fine. So the general store is probably closed up by now. I can usually find Mr. Burns and his son there after hours. As I walk on over, I mull over things I'm going to say and how I'm going to approach this. <laughs> God, I can't believe. Yeah. I can't believe. I remember. How many episodes is it? 26 episodes. That's incredible. Of course it's French. Yeah, I know. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it aired on, on Nickelodeon. <laughs> it's like you can always tell. And I think it's, yeah, it's just one season that aired 2006 to 2007. Good for them. Not even a full year. August to May. <laughs> Home video. Oh, United States was released onto DVD. Oh, those DVDs are something. 2014. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. They should have bought it. Should have bought it. An animated film produced by Xylam aired on 2007 Disney Channel Asia. It was released onto DVD in 2014. So, huh. so it was aired on. Okay. And uh, yeah. All right. Hilarious. <laughs> I knock on the front door with the back of my wrist. Oh. It's Ralph. It's Ralph. You've heard of this lad. I have. They've mentioned Ralph in the past. Mm-hmm. He's... We've talked to him before, haven't we? N- I think this is the first time you've seen him. Because mm. he was, like, mentioned at the poker game. Okay. Because he's Murdoch's friend and co-worker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huxley's the only other, like, black rat that we've spoken yeah. to this whole time. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ralph greets me at the door. Yeah, you can do Ralph. Don't you know it's closing time? It's the sheriff. And I don't care if you're George Albert the <laughs> Fifth. We're tired. Come back tomorrow. I smell the scent of a shoe polish and lemon before I see a Murdoch Burns at the door, giving me a curious look. It's probably better that he came to the door and not his father. He's the one I work with most. William? Afternoon. <laughs> this is a bit of a bad time. We have our hands full. I can tell by the sheen of his neck that he's had a long day. Uh, somehow, I doubt it was anything like mine, though. I'm afraid it's urgent. How urgent? Urgent enough to make a few arrests if I have to. The rat glares at me, and the fox's eyebrows lift. But I know you're more reasonable than that. That urgent enough? Murdoch's brow furrows in confusion. Fine, come in. The fox opens the door and the rat exhales. Take me somewhere we can talk, where it's just the two of us. The dark room, the dark room will work for that. I feel Ralph's eyes on me as Murdoch walks me to a dinky little closet and opens the door. Uh, it smells strongly of chemicals and. And him in here. Ah, good, good. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we'll end the part here. Okie dokie. No, no, we'll, we'll hang out with Murdoch in the dark room. The dark room. In the darkest dark room. In the darkest darkness. In the darkest darkness. <sighs> I can smell you, Ansem. <laughs> You're never going to escape, Josh. I don't know how to tell you this. You will never get away. <sighs> that franchise is bad, everyone. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is bad. It's just bad, everyone. <laughs> if you like it, you might be a loser. Don't take that. Don't take that personally. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you around, everyone. <laughs>